As you start to refine an image, the transform controls could be quite useful. This is often because the camera might have been off angle. Maybe you were to the side of your subject or shooting from a lower angle. Maybe there's just perspective lines or the camera was not level. There's all sorts of things that can happen when you're out shooting, particularly if you're not using a tripod or if you're in a bit of a hurry. Fortunately, the transform tool makes it easy to fix those. Let's fit this to the window here. And I'm gonna start with the transform tool. Now, what I'm looking at is the ability to rotate and I'm paying attention to my horizon line. I wanna get it so that the line here is mostly straight. Now this wall is at an angle, so it's not gonna be perfectly straight, but a little bit of a rotation is helping. I can also look at the chair there for some guidance and I see that the overall arms of the chair look a bit better there, and that helps. Now, once you've got that, the aspect option is designed to stretch or squash the image. Usually it doesn't need that, but that can come in handy if you start to really tilt the image. So in this case, let me start to tilt this image a little bit to compensate for some of these angle issues. And you'll notice as I do that, the windows start to take on a better shape. Now, as we've made those changes, that's helping. And I'm looking really at that mirror in the back corner. What I feel is necessary here is that not the chair should be straight, but the mirror should be straight. And that's helping quite a bit. That's an object with nice square edges that's facing directly to the subject. And what I'm doing here is adjusting or tilting that to the mirror really feel squared up. And you'll notice how easy this is to compensate. We have lots of different directions and angles here, but this is square to the camera and it's a nice rectangular shape. If you start to make some of those changes, you might notice a lot of perspective issues here. Now you have to be careful of just how much you start to tilt and it's okay to have things a little bit off, but that's helping. Now I can use the offset command to move that image left or right within the frame, as well as up or down as needed. This is gonna be quite helpful as you start to tilt the image to get it to a place that looks good to you. Then feel free to adjust the scale if needed to compensate for any edges. Additionally, you could take advantage of cropping if needed to adjust that, but instead of cropping, I'm just gonna adjust the scale property so it really comes into the right size. What I'm looking at here is trying to avoid any unwanted gaps or those gray areas at the edge. And now I feel better about the image. We've got a good general perspective here. Let's just rotate that ever so slightly. And I can shift that into place until it fills the frame. And now things feel a lot more properly angled. Now, depending upon your subject, this can be difficult or easy. When dealing with architectural photos, it's pretty simple. When dealing with landscapes, it's a bit trickier. The transform command, along with revisiting the lens correction tab, can make it easy to compensate for both lens issues and perspective issues. But remember, not every photo is taken perfectly head on and perfectly level. Sometimes those perspective are part of the shot. You might want a dramatic angle or a low angle shot. So don't try to neutralize all of this from your shooting. Just use this to compensate when things seem a little bit off.